Hi friends, this is Lok Kumar. Welcome to my sixth online tutorial regarding web development. Today I'm gonna cover how to design horizontal and vertical menu bars. I'm sure you enjoy this tutorial and getting some knowledge about how the menu bars are actually designed in web pages. Let's do. I am creating two pages, one is HTML page and one is CSS page, name is menubar.html and CSS menu.css. I am giving the CSS menu.css link to the, to the HTML file by using a tag called link tag in the header section. You all know this stuff. And we discuss about, first, first we discuss about horizontal navigation bar and later we discuss about what is vertical, vertical navigation bar. To, to design a horizontal navigation bar, I, I use a another list. You all know what is another list. I'm, it's a list and defaultly, uh, defaultly it's got, uh, it's got a circle symbol. If you run it in a, in a browser, then you understand what actually happens. I'm I'm removing this link and uh, and just run in a browser. See, this is the default another list. These these home about as portfolio content is are all are all are given as a uh, linked uh, link tags link H reference. Hence the for for each, for link tag the default the default color is blue color and also a text decoration is underlined. You can later change it by CSS. Now by including the link sheet and we just move on to what is what actually are written in the this css menu.css I am giving a ul id is equal to horizontal underscore bar h, h bar see here ash h underscore bar I have given as list style type col colon equals none when I, when I am given this uh, you, you see the default circles in the web browser website web page no that automatically removes that means no style should be happened for the list text and this margin is zero and padding is zero and the background color is as 33 which is gray color and I giving h bar li floaty float colon left that means uh, After completing one list tag, one list tag, it automatically fits another one. It automatically adjusts or place it automatically place another list tag without any line breaks defaultly when come when when we write in a list uh, in particular we write in an ally something some content slash ally then automatically defaultly HTML creates a line break uh, and then another list text starts in new line if you give a float column equals to left then it's uh, after completing the one list tag then automatically another list tag is, another list tag is placed without any line breaks this is the advantage of float for for its reference i use the display equals to block and background color is a white and text align in center and padding is 14 14 pixels into 16 pixels and text decoration is none i a default and before we know that uh, for in, for each reference text that your text decoration is underlined and the color equals to white so we change this way in CSS we can change it in CSS mm, when we hover the the each reference tag the background color should, should change this to ash one triple one color if it runs in browser then it look like this see how it looks this is the horizontal navigation bar now I now understand what is pa why we place this the padding is 14 pixel and 16 pixel if I remove padding and I compile 
see how it looks it's not looks that much good while we see in previous and also if i remove this float column left value then it, then html file default is taken as a line breaks and every list tag is uh, occupies in a new line See, this is the advantage of placing float. This is the horizontal navigation bar. Now we discuss about what is vertical navigation bar. The same code should be written in HTML for vertical navigation bar also. But I am changing the ID is v underscore bar. Now it. Now, now we change this. Now we what? Now we show. Now we see the CSS code. And this is the code for C vertical navigation bar. I given as float as none. If you give float as left, then converts into uh, horizontal horizontal navigation bar. If you give float as left, then converts into horizontal navigation bar. I am giving float as non value so it defaultly it's take a line breaks and and it look like a vertical navigation bar i'm giving background color as some random color and height is equals to 100 vertical horizontal 100 vh means 100 vertical horizontal that means it completely occupies the total page and with this 23 percent and total with this 100 percent in a web page i'm i'm aligning the vertical navigation bar with this 23 percent This is all. This is all styles for a that each reference tag. Same display block and color equals to white and font size 24 pixels. Text style and center. This is padding and text decoration. When you hover, it changes the background color and also the color of the font color. When it runs in browser, it looks like this. See, this is the vertical. Navigation bar, and this is the horizontal navigation bar. I'm giving the background color as a when we hover, I'm giving the background color as a white, and also the font color is black. That's why it looks like this. And this is the height I given as what 100 bhn. This is 100 vertical horizontal, and this is the width is 23 percent in, in total. 100 percent I given width is 23 percent, so it occupies the 23 percent width. And and this is the padding 14 pixel and 16 pixel and the font size is 24 pixels. So the back color equals to black color and background color is a white color. And this is the vertical navigation bar. And this is the horizontal navigation bar. If you want this code, I I attached this code in a in my blog. My blog link is Robert Exon dot blogspot dot in you can see this code in the in particular url i also attach it in my description also so in the next video we will be focus on responsive horizontal and vertical menu bars using javascript if you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe for more videos and latest updates if you have any doubts then feel free to comment thank you